A variety of casting processes are used to pour aluminum alloys. Depending on the volume of parts required, the geometry of the parts, the desired surface finish, and other factors. Permanent mold casting processes are those that utilize non-destructible or permanent molds, typically made of steel or cast iron. These molds are reusable for multiple pours, contrasting with the traditional sand molds that are broken apart after each pour to free up the castings. A common application for permanent molds is gravity die casting, in which two die halves, one fixed and one moving, are clamped tightly together to produce a vertically oriented casting. The tilt casting process is also generally carried out in permanent molds. After the liquid alloy is poured into a cup or basin at the entrance to the filling system, the mold is tilted so that the metal flows into the running system. High pressure die casting, also simply referred to as die casting, consists of forcing the liquid alloy into metal dies at high speed and high pressure using a piston. This may also be referred to as cold chamber die casting, since the chamber and piston are not heated during the process. In contrast, low pressure die casting requires a degree of heating to the equipment and does not apply as much pressure as the high pressure die casting process. Squeeze casting consists of a shot sleeve, a piston, and a hydraulic cylinder that pushes the molten metal into the molds under high pressure. Investment casting, also known as lost wax casting, involves creating a shape in wax or similar material and then covering it with a ceramic coating. During a preheating process, the wax melts away, but the ceramic coating remains, providing a shape to be filled with molten metal. The lost foam casting process uses expandable polystyrene beads to create a casting shape, along with the required feeding and running systems. The shape is placed in loose sand and vibrated. Once poured, the molten metal sublimates the foam, which is then lost.